Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's the end of the year, or not, depending on when you're watching this video, but I've been very reflective lately and I've been very appreciative of the opportunities I've had and sort of where my life has taken me. And I give a lot of credit to my engineering degree for getting me to where I am today, not only in my career, but in who I am as a person. So in this video, I wanted to talk about all of the reasons why I love being an engineer and what aspects of who I am today I attribute to being an engineer. This could be a little bit weird for me talking myself up, but I think a lot of other engineers can probably relate to how I feel. And if you are thinking of becoming an engineer or if you're in school right now, for engineering and you're struggling, then maybe what I have to say can help you take it all the way to the end. So I guess if you're ready to hear me talk about how amazing I think I am, then stick around. First, I love how patient I am. Since the first semester of college, engineering has taught me to be a more patient person. And I think before I started college, I was patient with people, but I've become a more patient person in other aspects of my life. Like, especially if I'm troubleshooting something, I don't get frustrated very easily. And I actually get more frustrated with other people who get frustrated easily. I'm just like, calm down, let me Google this real quick. And I cannot tell you the number of times I've helped someone solve a problem just by patiently getting on the internet and looking for solutions. Number two, and this is kind of related to the first one, but engineering has taught me that there is a way to explain everything. And knowing this has also helped me be more patient. Like when you're watching Netflix and playback stalls and you're like, what the heck is going on? Part of my PhD research was on exactly this. Like how do we degrade the video playback when it's necessary in order to minimize user discontent? Maybe you don't know it, but there are people who are researching how a stall impacts user experience versus how degrading the actual image quality impacts user experience. We all have a point where we're watching something and it can be so blurry to the point where we'd rather just not be watching it at all. And there are people who are trying to research that exact point to give you the best experience when you're watching Netflix. Or like if I'm in the grocery store, I know someone has researched exactly how to lay out the store and where to place items to maximize my time in the store and how much money I spend. And I know it was someone smart who came up with the idea to put all of those little items by the register, like gum and mints and stuff, to trick people into thinking like, oh yeah, I could use a few of these, and they end up spending just a little bit more money. I'm always trying to figure out why things are the way that they are. Number three. This one kind of goes with the first two, but I love that engineering has taught me how to ask questions. I can be having a conversation with someone or reading an article, and I can always think of questions to ask. There's always more to know, and I love that engineering has taught me to look for those holes in my understanding of things. And similarly, if someone tells me something or if I read something, I don't just take things at face value. I'll ask questions to make sure the opinions I'm forming are substantiated. And the fourth reason I love being an engineer is I love how much I value efficiency and automation. The most annoying things in our lives are things that waste time. Like, for instance, I had a friend who has a business and the website always has this coupon code that updates monthly. Like, it'll be Jan 2021 or Feb 2021, March 2021, etc. And I asked, are you really going to go in on the first of every month to update this coupon code? I can just write that into the script behind the web page and it will update automatically every month. And you don't have to waste your time going in there to do it. And when I plan out my days and my weeks too, I try to plan everything so that I minimize the amount of time I spend driving to and from places or sitting in traffic or waiting in lines or waiting for other people to do things. I want to be as productive with my time as possible, and I love that engineering has taught me to value that. The fifth reason I love being an engineer is I have skills that can continue to evolve with the times. Like we learn to code and solve problems in school, and with these tools, we can pretty much tackle anything. In a way, I feel like I can always level up my skills and there will always be something in this world for me to do. 
And yes, I may be building models and machines that may have my skills and could replace me, but I feel like I can continue developing my skills and learning new things that will make me irreplaceable. And the sixth reason I love being an engineer is I love that engineering has taught me how to value improvements and continuous evolution, especially in myself. In research, we're always looking for something new and novel to contribute that will make a difference in this world. Like, I think about how self-driving cars got to where they are today. Someone took someone else's object tracking model and combined it with someone else's obstacle avoidance algorithm. And then they probably improved upon someone else's sensor fusion methods to take all of the data from all of the sensors on the car to feed into another model that they had to develop to automate that self-driving behavior. And they continue to iterate on this and improve individual components to improve the entire system as a whole. And that's how they get progress. And I can apply that same philosophy to make myself better. I'm sure there are some engineers who get comfortable and settle where they are, and they probably don't find the need to make themselves better. But I think the ability to do better and be better is one of the most amazing things about humans. I'm always thinking about ways I can be healthier, more fulfilled, or a more valuable person to other people in my life. And to be honest, if I didn't become an engineer, I feel like I might've gotten complacent with my life and my goals. And the last reason I love being an engineer is really the people. I have met some of the smartest people, the most innovative, out-of-the-box thinkers, because I pursued engineering. I feel like everyone I've met has taught me something, either directly or indirectly, and I never feel like I'm the smartest person in the room, which may sound like I have confidence issues, but it's really not that. It's more, I'm so fascinated with what other people know and other people's experiences that I can't wait to see what engineers develop in the future. And I just hope I can work with more brilliant engineers and be part of this amazing group of people as technology continues to take over the world. And those are seven reasons why I love being an engineer. If you can relate to anything I've said, or if you have your own reasons why you love being an engineer, I would love to hear in the comments below. That is gonna conclude my video. Thank you so much for watching and making it to this point in the video if you have. Please like and subscribe before you go and I will see you in the next video. Oh boy.